But what I can do now, and I'm convicted to do today, is to lead you to the actualization of our faith. What do I mean by actualization? For instance, if you are troubled, now I, I could just tell you, well, believe in Him, He is good, you know. Not just that, I can tell you once or twice, but I have to lead you to see how good He is. Taste and see how good He is, how satisfying He is in your trouble. If you are lacking, you know, I, I would have to lead you to see how contented we could be in Christ Jesus. So that's the actualization part. And if you're going to put it in the words, I would say it means that as with what the Lord says He is and what He has promised, keep confirming till you realize that it's true and absolute. You okay, get what I'm trying to say? Okay, let me say it again. What is the actualization of faith mean? Later I'll talk about it again, okay? But just get it. As with what the Lord says and what He promised to be, you cannot just take it at face value or head knowledge. You have to keep on confirming it until you realize this is the absolute truth. That's the actualization. Actual. What we have been programmed and taught is fake. All this time we taught so what, what we see by sight is real, but there is a spiritual realm. There is a God. There is the Almighty One with us, leading us, you see. So we have to confirm it again. We got to test it again and again till we realize it's the absolute truth. Why so? Let me say, anything that is not true, anything that is not real, you will not follow it. Am I right? Say that. If a lot of Christians, they are not, I realize they're finding the God that they know is so conceptual. They know, oh, doctrinally what God is and uh, theoretically I should follow Him, I should obey Him, but they are trusting in money more. Why? Because money is more real to them. They're trusting in human recognition, human position and all, okay? Holding on to their own future, believing what they see is what they get because that is more real to them. There is no sense, true spiritual sense in them to pray and rely on God because God is just conceptual. It is not real to them. They didn't test and confirm what they have heard about God. So, what you are singing, what you are praising Him about is something you know conceptually. It doesn't give you strength. It doesn't help you make choices. It doesn't strengthen your will. You get what I mean? Because you didn't actualize your faith. It's still so unreal, you know. So naturally, that will lead to a separation of faith and living. And that's why we see in church nowadays, a lot of the Christians, the way they practice their li Christian lives, and God's money and my money. It's like appearing spiritual in church and being practical outside church. Learning about Bible knowledge, but relying more on psychology and positive thinking in their lives. You see, why? Now, it's a separation of faith and living because the faith is not actualized. It's never real to them. So genuine faith will never come through that kind of Christian living, okay? And, and you see a lot of Christians, you know, they are becoming more and more ritual and hypocritical. And that is what I have seen in the Christian arena. Now, I wouldn't say I'm, I wouldn't say I'm perfect, but what God has led me towards is a true and genuine Christian life. I always want to ask myself critical question with regards to my faith. Say, for instance, if i contented now, I would want to ask myself, am I contented because I'm having more or because the truth of God gives me the spirit of contentment? I want to ask myself critically, do I love my brethren? Okay. If I love them, is it because they are respectful towards me or you know, obedient, you know, submissive, or is it because because the love of God is in me. So the spirit of love is there in me. So can I stand a test? Can I stand a test of differences? You know, can I? So ask yourself critically. It's only possible when you've actualized your faith. I don't want any one of us to be in a made-believe or blind faith. Uh, you see, a lot of times we say, we, I believe His promise, I believe His goodness. Now, most of the time, you will realize that's because you are doing good now. You are having enough. You are having a lot of bread and support, peer support, 
family support, everything is good. I believe in His promise. I believe what God says about until issues happen in your lives, until you fall into sin, until something uncontrollable, some tragedy has happened to you, then you ask yourself, where is that belief? Because all the time you have feel you believe. That is the feeling of belief that is not belief. When you didn't actualize your faith, that day will come. Until when, when loss, uh, trials, and tribulations struck me, <laughs> then I realized how, how self-centered I am and how weak my temperaments are and how far my hearts are from the truth. So we, with our Christian faith, we want to confirm it and actualize it today because what we've actualized, let me say, it will become truth in your mind and what is truth in your mind will become strength in your heart. Mm -hmm.